it's Renee. I am back with another video. Period. <laughs> okay, y'all. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, I am Deja Renee. A lot of my videos are girl talk videos and also videos that will help you become a better person, a better wife, a better friend, a better sister, a better businesswoman. So welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to DM me on Instagram so we can become friends. Okay, y'all. So y'all see I'm in my workspace area. This is where a little of the magic happens i don't really edit videos here but i do you know like my t-shirt prints things like that but i want to share with you guys how to save a thousand dollars in 25 days okay that's what i want to share i use this and it works for me and i hope it can work for you so let's go ahead and hop into the video okay so this video is going to be really simple really short probably but it is very helpful. So before I show you the proof and the facts, I'm going to explain to you about what I mean. So basically, you take $40 a day for 25 days and you have $1,000. Now, a lot of people, well, some people, they say, well, I work a nine to five, so I get paid every two weeks. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say this. If you have a nine to five or you have a, um, your income comes in weekly or bi-weekly, you can still do this. You can do this. Um, when I say 25 days, it doesn't have to be exactly, you know, within 25 days. I'm going to show you what I mean because a lot of people get really confused about what do I mean, okay? So, basically what I do is I write down $40 25 times, okay? So I have it in my business planner. If you did not see that video that I made of how I made my business planner, you need to go check it out. It is on my channel right now as we speak. Pause this video and go watch that one. Okay, so this is what I do. And this could be helpful for you as well. You can go on Google Docs, you can go on Canva, you can go on any type of um, Word document or whatever, whatever you use. You can even do it on pen and paper. It is totally fine. You write down $40 25 times right so it's going to look like this you're going to write it down 25 times so what before i tell you how to exactly do it i'm going to say this you don't it doesn't have to be exactly 25 days it can really be be 50 days it can if you get paid every two weeks it can be 50 days but the purpose of this a pur the purpose of saving money is eliminating other things that we don't need at the time so that shoes that's clothes that's fast food that's things that we do not need and we need to save our money and you don't have to so basically what i do is i use this because sometimes I do like to, to go eat fast food. Sometimes I do like to just go and shop just because I know that I have the money and I can at the moment, but I like to use it. So let's say I have $100. I'm going to take 80 out of that $100 and I'm gonna put it in my savings. Once my bills are paid, insurance is paid, things like that. If I have $100 left over, I am going to put 80 of that into my, my savings account. So that covers two days because 40 and 40 is 80. So then I will highlight two 40s off of that. So that is basically what I do. And this, this helps me to save and it helps me to not spend money just because I have it and then blow it or something. Yes, if you do content, you do things like that. Yes, you need to buy clothing and makeup and things like that. Yes, but you still have to make sure that you are saving and you are putting your money away. Like I said, you could do it after you get your bills out the way for the month, things that you need, groceries, you know, toiletries, whatever, things like that, cleaning supplies, then you go ahead and take that out. Or what I do, because I'm a business owner, so for all my business owners, what I do is whatever, 15% of what I made that day is what I take out and put it in my savings. So I have to make sure that I have a daily goal every day, which is every week, which is every month that I want to make because I know that I want to put a certain percent away for savings. So that is how you have to look at it. Okay, so another thing that I do, you don't have to do this, but a lot of people like to put it in their bank account. I'm going to put it in my bank account when I am done with my goal. So you can set your goal. So you can do, oh, I want to save up $5,000. Well, you need to do this challenge five times. That's what you need to do. If you just want to save $2,000, do it 
do this challenge two times, go ahead and have your, you know, with all the extra money that you do have, go ahead, just put this money in the bank and go ahead and go shopping, whatever you want to do, take a vacation, whatever. But this is an easy, I feel like for me, this is very easy for me to do because a thousand dollars is not a lot, but I'm going to tell you this. I never knew how much money I was really making until I started doing this. Um, a thousand dollars in a month is crazy. I know some people like when I tell them this, they're like, "Days is crazy." You don't have to do it in 25 days. If it, like I said, if it takes you 50 days, it's okay. But you're knocking those days. You're knocking down those days. So let's say if it's day 29. No, let's say. So let's say if it's day 10, and you only have. 320, 340s knocked off, it's okay. You're still getting there. It may take time. Let's say something happens with your car or your, the, a bill that you weren't expecting to be that much. It's, it's higher. So that's okay. But you never want to touch this money. Never touch this money. Always keep this money up. Honestly, like I tell my husband all the time, I forget about this money. And I did this challenge on my own with no help. My husband, This is my money. So you can do it. If I could do it, you definitely could do it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you about the envelope. So I go to Walmart and I just got a pack of these brown envelopes, which I section off because I have um, OCD or whatever it's called. <laughs> um, I had to have everything separate because that's just how I operate with things. Everything has to be organized. Every I have to know where everything is at. So this is my envelope where I put um, each thousand um, as soon as I get done, I'll just go ahead and put a savings on it, write it out, and I'll put it up and take it to the bank. So I'm going to show you what I mean by how do you do this challenge. Just in case you guys didn't understand from the um, from me just explaining it, I will show you. Okay, so this is how I'm going to show you. So this is what I do. I'm going to show you exactly what I do. So I, I go to my binder and let's say I say, okay. So, let's say I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So, let's say I made $100 with my business today. So, I'm like, okay, I made $100 with my business. I need to get gas, whatever, whatever I need to get. I'm going to take $80 out of that $100. I'm going to keep this $20 for gas, food, fast food, whatever. Keep that $20. Go in my binder. And I'm going to go ahead. So, since I have two sets of 40s, I'm going to... Go ahead and highlight two 40s off of my check sheet. That's what I do. So now I'm done with two days. Even though it is one day, you still have two days finished. So that's why I tell people, if it takes you long, if it takes you 50 days to do this challenge, it's okay. Because some days you can put three days worth into your savings account. Like I said, if you have two 40s or let's say you even have, you have three 40s. So that's three days. And then you have another that's four days but let's say so one day you make three days and then the second day you only make one day it's still it's okay because you are on four days still so you have four days knocked off let's say you miss a couple days because you have bills you have rent whatever it's okay to miss days because on the other days you were able to do those days so it's making up for those old days <laughs> so that's basically how i do it so all, like i said i'll show you guys again what you do is you just do 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. And then, you know, and that's how you save it. And then that will be one day, two day, three days, four days, five days, six days. So now you can take, now you can highlight six 40s down. So if you want to skip four, um, six more days, you are good because you already have, you know what I'm saying? If you want to, you can skip about a day or two because you are good. You stay, you got that money out the way, you put it up, that is fine. So it's all about how you look at it. You need to save your money and we all need to save our money. Put this in an account and you can also invest this money. This is not just money just to save just because you can, opt, if you have a goal. You can put this in there okay so like i said this challenge is a really good challenge if you are trying to make an investment if you're trying to start a business if you're trying to do any this is a great 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 thing to do just keep doing it i did this when i was 18 years old i was working at ihop and i got paid every day so every day i would take 40 dollars 
out of what I made and I'll put it to the side and at the end of 25 days I had a thousand dollars and I bought me a nine hundred dollar Buick <laughs> so this has I have seen this work I did this my day I am knocking my days and my all my numbers down I'm doing really good with it um I don't really eat out like I used to I don't really buy clothes like I used to because right now I'm really hustling I'm in a grind mode so if you are in that grind mode this this really works and I really encourage especially us young women um to go ahead and do it have your own bag save your own money and do this shit so thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you are new let's be friends you can dm me on instagram at deja underscore renee i'm very cool very chill let's be friends and i will see y'all in the next video